As you guys can see, I am playing the original Marvel's Amazing Spider-Man 2 game on my Android device inside the CMU emulator. Let's get started. Yo, what's up guys, it's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be setting up the CMU Android version 1.5 which was released just yesterday and this is quite possibly the biggest update of CMU for Android devices till now as it finally fixes crashing issues in most of the Wii U games along with that brand new features and much more. To start off, this update is not available on the official developer's GitHub page of CMU Android port from Simco. This is basically a folk version of CMU Android. Like we see with Sudachi emulator, Suyu emulator and many other folk emulators, CMU YGO mode is also a folk version of the original CMU Android along with experimental features, fixed renderer Vulkan, fixed emulation, GUI, input overlay, lot of things have been changed in this brand new update. Just take a look at this. This is the entire changelog of the brand new CMU version 1.5 update. And here are the minimum requirements you need at least Android version 11 or above and that's about it. Even Mali GPU Android devices are now supported in CMU Android. So if this video reaches 200 likes then I'll be testing out CMU on my Mali GPU Android device. With all of that out of the way, let's just go ahead and start setting up the CMU Android. Before you update the CMU Android to the latest version 1.5, you will need to remove the previous version of CMU from your Android device. Our next step will be to simply start setting up the new version of CMU Android. It will look similar to the older version but there are some changes in the text and font size etc. And if we go to the settings option, you will notice that all the settings are now much more arranged and if we go to graphics settings, make sure that the asynchronous shader compilation is enabled, vSync is turned off and accurate barriers is turned on. Full screen aspect ratio, make sure to set it to stretch so that you get a better aspect ratio. Afterwards, we can simply go to the general settings where you will now get the option to add game path. Previously, this was a separate option, but now it has been added in general. You can also select the console language, which is pretty useful. And make sure to go to add game path and select the folder where you have stored your Wii U games. Once that has been done, go to input settings. Afterwards, make sure to choose controller 1 and set it to Wii U gamepad. Afterwards, you can go to input overlay and make sure that the input overlay has been turned on and in terms of audio settings keep everything as default and in terms of overlay you can enable the fps bar as well as cpu and ram usage set the position to top left corner once all of that has been done we have successfully set up our cmu android now this was just the beginning of the setup the brand new features which have been added can be found by holding a game afterwards you will get new options such as about title edit game profile as well as favorite now if you tap on the favorite button it will be pinned to the top and if we go to the edit game profile you will see brand new options that will help you fix crashing issues while emulating Wii U games on Android. So currently there are only 4 options, shader multiplication, accuracy as well as CPU mode. Now for today's video we will be trying out Call of Duty Black Ops 2 as this is a game which constantly four stops when trying to open. For example, I just opened Call of Duty Black Ops 2, the game just crashed. Now to fix this crashing issue, you'll need to go to Edit Game Profile, afterwards set the CPU mode to Single Core Interpreter. Afterwards set the Thread Quantum Level to 100,000 and that's about it. This will definitely fix the crashing issues that you might face in the games that you try out inside the CMU Android. Now this time you'll notice that our game has not crashed but this setting doesn't make all games compatible so it will work with only few games and also you will be able to see Call of Duty Black Ops is about to start you will indeed face some graphical issues and low FPS issues because of the settings that we just enabled but hey at least the game is loading right now I am able to hear some audio output of the game but uh, there is no graphical output that's because this game is still not supported inside of the CMU Android so you can simply tap on the exit button afterwards try out the amazing spider-man 2 this game 100% works and you don't really need to uh, enable any special settings if you want to emulate it on your Android device as we will be able to see Marvel etc and the full screen stretch aspect ratio is actually pretty cool now because it covers a good amount of aspect ratio anyways as we will be able to see our game is about to start and I'll be back once it actually starts now if you guys didn't know already the FPS in CMU Android has been improved by a lot and when I mean by a lot you can almost expect 5 to 10 times more FPS in the newer updates of CMU Android I tested out this same game previously in the older version of CMU I only got like 3 to 4 FPS whereas currently we are getting almost 30 FPS so the performance has been improved by quite a lot let me just go ahead and skip this cutscene and just take a look at this guys the graphics quality is super amazing it is the Marvel's Amazing Spider-Man 2 now I'll be uploading a dedicated gameplay video testing this game out on my Android device pretty soon but you'll be able to see all the reflections etc are being loaded properly we are literally emulating a triple a title on our android device at straight up 30 fps 
and almost no graphical issues whatsoever. So this is the power of CMU Android stable versions which have finally started rolling out and it makes a huge difference if you want to emulate Wii U games on Android. Anyways that's going to be it for today's video though. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.